Well, hello everybody. Today we're looking at the ETI four foot long LED light bulb. This is a, a fluorescent tube light bulb replacement. This is ETI model number 54104411. Let me get a, a, a close up of that. Okay, here's a, a close up. It's an LED T8, which means it's uh, uh, about an inch in diameter. The the T12s are, are a bit large, are a lot larger than the normal fluorescent bulb. It operates from 100 to, to 77 volts AC, 50 or 60 hertz. Draws 18 watts. Has a color temperature of 29K, or excuse me, 2900K. Uh, 1620 uh, lumens and a CRA of 83. And uh, obviously be made in China, and this one operates without a ballast, which means this end here, you can see the, the red writing here, this is the end that's powered up, and uh, the other end has no power on it. it. So that means you have to modify the light fixture, and they give you a nice uh, little notice that you can put on the, the light fixture. So anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to, to modify the light fixture and install these, and we'll see what they look like. Just to be safe, I also picked up some... Uh, new sockets. These are from Levitron. They're less than a dollar a piece and they sure look cheap. But uh, anyway, uh, got, got all the stuff from a thousand bulbs dot com and uh, just in case I need them. And basically what it is is by non shunted that means that uh, the one side is not connected to the other side. So you can put the, the line in the neutral, you know, power up the, the AC line uh, on these two wires here. And uh, hopefully, uh, the existing fixture does not need these things. I won't have to change them. But if I do, I'm prepared. And I figured for, you know, what is it, 83 cents a piece or whatever the heck it was, uh, I might as well get them. Well, these are the, the piece of junk fixtures I'm looking at. You can see it's all solid plastic through in here. And there's a, uh, I already started to pry this thing open here, but there's a, a cover. That covers the wires. Get down to that side. So here we can go see the wires. They're in here, and let's uh, figure out what's going on. I don't quite see where the ballast is, and we got to get that figured out. Here's our cheap piece of junk uh, fluorescent light light fixture. Well, it does have a UL uh, thing, which is uh, a little surprising. Anyway, there's a metal channel in the middle. I kind of pried. Try this thing out. This covers up all the wiring. So let's take a look a little further. You can kind of see those wires coming down to one end. This is the end where the power comes in. So let's figure out where the ballast is. It's got to be somewhere around here. Okay, here's the key to getting this stupid piece of chunk open. First, I mean the cord is attached in here, so it won't open. So you have to pry this keeper out, and then take the cord out of the keeper. And then you and then there's two slots. See the slot here? Put a, oops, there we go. Again, my camera. You pop that out, and there's another slot right there, and you pop that out, and then this end cap will come off. I, I can't do it with one hand, but let me just take it off. Okay, let's show you what we got here, and let me show you the good news. Now, of course, the bad news is is uh, there's no way I'm going to take those uh, new lamp holders I bought. The I wasted like was 69 cents on those things, but. Uh, uh, the, the, they're not going to work, but the good news is, is these are not shunted uh, sockets. As you can see, there's a black wire and a white wire, and a black wire and a white wire, which means that they're not shored together. And the great thing is, is we got a convenient black and white wires, and then you can see our line in is a convenient little black and light white wire. So we've just got a straight hook up here. So uh, we cut off the wires that are going to that end because they're not going to be used anymore. We'll just get rid of those things and, and uh, not worry about them. And uh, we'll hook up the, the line to the, I uh, might as well use uh, the black for the line, the white's neutral, and hook those two up there, apply the sticker, and then we'll be all done here. This will be uh, pretty quick. Here's the completed wiring. I took the, the, the three white wires, twist them together for a pair of pliers, sc uh, they're nice and secured tightly together, then I put a wire nut on here to secure them. I did the same thing with the three black wires. And now they're all nice and secure and tucked away. And I'll just reassemble everything uh, and then uh, put it back up and we'll see what happens.
Okay, here we are. We're all done with the light fixture. And the mo most important part is you got to make sure you put the notice sticker on there. I peeled the sticker on there and put it on there. And it uh, uh, specifies that uh, it's been modified from original. Now, and I also put my own little warning on there, LED only in line, because this is the only place that the, the LED power uh, can be powered from, is from that end. So uh, anyway, let's uh, bolt it back up under the ceiling and see what happens when I hook it up. Well, let's take a look at these things in action. I switch it on, one, one thousand, oh, about one second. A bit of a, a delay coming on, maybe a little less than one second. Kind of got a, an interesting glow. You know, it doesn't really seem to be, it seems to be a little hotter than 2900K. Looks more like maybe uh, like, like, like a little higher than that. I mean, you can see this other lamp. This is one that, that's supposedly 2900K. This is an LED bulb at 2900K. You can see it's got a definite nice warm yellow glow to it, where this kind of has like a pinkish color to it. You know, it, it, the trouble with these cameras is they auto-correct. So, uh, I don't know what to say. It's uh, fairly bright. It seems to brighten up the, the room pretty well. Turn off one one thousand. Well, yeah, I would say maybe eight hundred milliseconds. What do you think? So, uh, well, there you have it. Looks pretty good, and uh, it's quiet. It doesn't make the the hum that the ballast did. Uh, you know, the, and like I say, it's a like a piece of junk fixture, the, the ballast was all screwed up. I noticed that one of the wires wasn't soldered. It was just barely touching me. That's the reason I could only get one bulb to even work in this stupid fixture. You know, I'm the one that was fluorescent. But uh, LED, I managed to save all the money having to buy new fixtures for just the cost of these LED bulbs. And I think it was like maybe $12. And uh, I mean, sometimes you can get them cheaper than that if you look around uh, on a thousandbulbs.com. You can see the finished product. Take a look at how like my wife's office is. A lot of light in here. This is from uh, four bulbs. There's two bulbs there, two bulbs on the other end. And just to get, you can see the color difference. You can take a look. Let's focus in. This is a, a traditional fluorescent. There's a single tube. You know, the, the fixtures are pieces of junk and none of them, uh, two, two of them would only ha handle one bulb working and the third one wouldn't have any bulbs working. So, uh, Anyway, I uh, managed to salvage them by making them go LED, but this is just a single tube in the middle fixture because I may, and eventually I'm going to have to buy more bulbs to replace it, although I think I will get something of a higher color temperature. Uh, the, the, the 207 or the 2700K kind of gives it kind of, like I say, kind of a, a pinkish tinge. It's not really yellowish, but pinkish, where you can see the white of a, of a true fluorescent that's probably around uh, maybe 5,000 uh, K and of course here's the other bank of it but uh, a lot more light you can see that there's a, just I mean a lot more light out of these LEDs and there is out of a, a traditional was it maybe what what 35 40 watt uh, uh, fluorescent so uh, anyway uh, it, it really lights up the room quite a bit brighter